Oh, there were lots of them. I mean, there were boy bands going on. And I was born in the GDR, so we kind of were a little bit behind. But I remember watching um, Dirty Dancing, and I was, of course, in love with Patrick Swayze. I wanted to be baby, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was dancing that way these days when we had a party, everybody dressed up. I get starstruck all the time, but I think I'm good at hiding it. I mean, Meryl Streep was there yesterday, and I, I, I didn't manage to say hello. I just couldn't. I was just admiring her from the far. The first time I saw Meryl Streep perform was in Silkwood. Mm. And yeah, I still think about it all the time, yeah. My name is Sandra Hüller. The movie we're going to talk about today is Anatomy of a Fall. In this movie, the question is whether or not you committed a crime. And did you feel that you knew if you committed the crime or not to play the character? There was a moment in preparation where I had the feeling I had to find out if Sandra Witter killed her husband or not. But I realized that this is not really what the film is about, so I let the question go. I just played the question. Huh. I think everything stays kind of in the I imagination. Think it's much better. I was in Cannes for Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, we won, and <laughs> we were very happy that we won. We got the call, I think, at 10 in the morning, really early. Normally, they wait, sometimes they wait till noon. I had to rush to the airport, and a lot of things went wrong. My child was with me, and there were some really, really nice people at Leipzig Halle Airport. I really have to thank them again <laughs> for letting us in very late. <laughs> and making this work. The zone of interest, that was a, a tougher path because I just received a two-pager with a scene where a couple was fighting whether to stay or to go. I didn't know what it was about, who it was about, and who would make it. When I said I'm gonna go to the casting, they revealed the topic and the characters and also the director. And that was a really difficult choice because I didn't want to be involved with any Nazi tale um, that wasn't planned. I think what Jonathan meant was to make it as empty and meaningless as possible, to not give these people any sort of real joy, real connection or real love. He always told us even when they're in the garden or with their kids, they don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. And this is strongly what I felt too. There was really a, a big void uh, that we had to deal with all the time. So it was more of being the least dramatic that you can imagine. It was very helpful to have my dog there. Yes, <laughs> she helped me a lot and I, I'm very grateful that she, that she did it the way she did it, yeah. I did, yeah. like a really good movie as a first movie. It was a, a movie called Requiem by Hans Christian Schmid, a German film about a girl with epilepsy who thinks she's possessed by the devil. No, no, I don't have any commercial. I never did that because yeah. when you're employed in theater, you always have a lot to do. My sign is Taurus. They tend to be very calm until it's really too late and then you better go. I'm true to my sign. Yes. I'm moving towards the, I don't know what's the English word, uh, Schütze, um, the, Ah. Uh, which is my, is it ascendant? Rising. Yeah. So this says, you're a loving person, but that doesn't keep dear ones from getting on your nerves. <laughs> Some solo time is warranted to recharge. Wow. It's <laughs> on the spot. Of course. <laughs> I do believe it. I, if I, yeah, if I have a horoscope in my hands, I read it all the time.